Three houses adds a ton of customizability, but characters excelling in certain areas makes it so that there are best classes for characters to perform in. We've already discussed the Black Eagles and discussed the Blue Lion House last episode. In this part, we'll be covering the Golden Deer House of Characters and the optimal master classes for each of them. Lorenz has the skills of the most model Dark Knight there is. He's best at lances, reason, and riding, literally the three skills needed to enter Dark Knight. He also gains access to some pretty neato magics. Not really much else to say. Raphael is a good tank character, with his strengths lying in axes, brawling, and heavy armor. He's a good choice to bring down the knight line, but there is no master class with armor and unmounted. He could be a great knight, but would miss out on being able to apply his brawling skill, as it cannot be used while mounted. As such, he is a better fit for the war master class, applying his axe and brawling abilities together. Ignatz sports an ability to excel in sword and has a budding talent in reason magic, making him naturally excel in the role of mortal savant. The skill he earns from his budding talent gives him seal strength, reducing foe strength by 6 for one turn if Ignatz deals damage, allowing him to use ranged magic to safely weaken opponent's health as well as drastically reduce the damage they do to your units next turn. Lizathea, Lizathea, Lizathea. However it's pronounced, is the only dark magic user in the game who is recruitable into other houses. Both Edelgard and Hubert aren't leaving the Black Eagles. As such, she is excellent to go on to become either a Gremory or a Dark Knight, with my personal preference being Gremory, being able to best apply her proficiency in both magics and devastate the battlefield with her dark magic. Liza Thea is the only character in the game apart from Edelgard who can become a Gremory while also wielding dark magic. As such, the Gremory is my preference for her. Marianne excels in both sword and faith magic, making her a good potential candidate for the dancer class if need be. If a better dancer character like Dorothea is available to take that role instead, then it becomes more fitting for Marianne to progress to become a holy knight. Excelling in riding and gaining a lance budding talent, which nets her the frozen lance combat art, a magical lance combat art which increases might with dexterity, it's like Marianne was made to be one of the best possible holy knights. Hilda excels in lances, axes, and has a budding talent in heavy armor. Lances can help her through the cavalier line, and axes and heavy armor can help her to one day go on to be a great knight. The great knight has class skills of lance fair and axe fair, which is great for Hilda since those are what she excels in. Leone is seemingly designed to go on to be a bow knight. She excels in lance, bow, and riding, the three things needed for bow knight. Not really much else to say, you know? So it looks like I didn't actually write this part of the script for whatever reason, I guess I just forgot it. So here I go improv this. Claude will automatically obtain a class as part of the story, so you don't actually have to focus him on certain skills in order to attain a master class. Though if you do want to focus on the skills that his final class will focus on, then focus on bow, authority, and flying. That's it for the Golden Deer cast of characters. I hope you found this guide helpful, and in the final episode, we'll cover the faculty and characters of the Church of Seros. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below, or feel free to ask me directly on my Twitch channel or on my Discord server. I hope I've been able to help, and until next time, I'll see you on the battlefield. Mr. Death Knight, it's flaming barrels with your name on it. A whole six damage. Take that. I told you Nerd. That you fled, I would not chase you. But it seems you wish to die. Oh no, he can move now!